Valentine, the most courageous person in Ender's Game. Courage is resistance to fear, mastery of fear, not absence of fear. Mark Twain. Although some show their fears more publicly than others, fear is in human nature. It is how one chooses to approach fear that sets the courageous apart from the weak. A brave man does not have an absence of fear, rather a motivation strong enough to outweigh it. In the classic science fiction novel Ender's Game, Valentine Wiggins' motivation is her love for Ender and her need for power. Valentine craves power like Peter, but she does not want to become monstrous because of it. When Peter and Valentine go on the nets under assumed names to take over mankind, Valentine is in, in a never-ending battle with Peter. The lines are blurred to a point where it is hard to tell who holds power over the other, but Valentine never gives in and allows Peter to blindly control her like he did to so many others. She always stands up to Peter despite him being arguably one of the most threatening and par powerful characters to appear in the book. She sees through this facade he puts up for his teachers, peers, and parents, and she calls him out on it. Some may argue that Ender's courage far outweighs Valentine's, but one of Ender's most reputable achievements, killing the buggers, he was not even aware of. He thought he was playing on the simulator. He gave up near the end of the book, and he did not care about his life. He had no fear, so there was no place for courage to step in. Valentine displays acts of courage throughout the novel Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Valentine's true courage is always shown when she stands up against Peter for Ender. Valentine loves Ender, so she often tries to keep Ender safe and out of harm's way. Valentine is often described as being too sensitive, even being as far as being one of the only reasons she did not get into battle school. She is sweet and nurturing towards Ender, and some of the love she has results in her being very protective of him. Valentine's love for Ender mixed with her natural kind and caring for Photo makes her very determined to help Ender out in any way possible way, even if that means risking herself. When Peter was hurting Ender, she was not afraid to voice her opinion. In Valentine's word, Ender and I are not stupid. We scored as well as you did on everything, better on some things. We're all such wonderfully bright children. You're not the smartest, Peter, just the biggest. Valentine put herself in danger to protect Ender. She did not have to include herself, but she did, showing how much she is willing to do for Ender. She reminds Peter that he is not as good as he imagines himself to be, which could put her life at stake. Throughout the book, Peter is seen as ruthless and destructive, and Ender always relapses back into the thought that he is a monster like Peter and will never be better than him. Peter has scarred Ender emotionally and physically, and has shown time and time again that he is not above violence or even homicide. Valentine is able to overlook her fear of Peter and the things he may do if he gets too angry in order to help the person she most loves. Peter and Valentine are in a constant state of manipulation and twisted power when they make online pseudonyms used to take over the world. Peter put up a front to the world that made him seem like a changed man. He was friendly to the other scholars and respectful towards his parents. In contrast, Valentine knows that Peter is manipulating and lying to everyone who cannot see through him. When Peter tries to convince Valentine to take over the world, she purposely plans to show weakness. She knows that he is only manipulating her to get her to have sympathy for him. In turn, she decides to deceive him. She plays along in his game, but she knows that what she knows what his intentions are, giving her power over him. You are only pretending to share power with me, she thought. But in fact, I have power over you, even though you don't know it. Playing this game of ever changing power and fighting for control is a huge risk. Valentine knows that Peter what Peter is capable of, and that by working with Peter she is breaking the law. If someone were to find out that they hacked into the nets and were posing as adults, the punishments would may be very harsh. Valentine still has the insatiable craving for power, so even if she is even if it is not as violent as her brothers, she still cooperates with Peter. She sees that they are both smart, so she does not have a reason against their plan. Valentine takes part in a manipulated, twisted battle with Peter, knowing the risk she is taking by doing it because she wants to take over the government. Arguments can be made that Ender showed the most courage, but he was not as courageous as Valentine. Some people say the most defiant act on of courage on Ender's part was defeating the buggers, yet Ender thought he was playing on the simulator. In the simulator, there was almost no risk in Ender's mind, so what he did was not courageous. He did not go out of his way to face his fear or have a motivation to get through it. He simply thought he was playing a game. Towards the end of the book, Ender begins to shut down from all of the hard-working pressures. The author illustrates this point by stating, The days wore on with battles every day, until at last Ender settled into the routine of de the destruction of himself. He began to have pains in his stomach. They put him on a bland diet, but soon he didn't have an appetite for anything at all.
The teachers pushed Ender to a point where he did not have a will to live. Although this is unfortunate, it ultimately shows that Ender gave up to near the end. Because he did not have a will to do anything, he had no need to face any fears. Courage is based around having the motivation to attempt to master fear, so he did not show courage. Overall, Ender did not show the level of courage his sister Valentine did. In the novel Ender's Game, it is not Ender, but his sister who shows the most courage. She was always facing off against one of the most malicious characters in the book, Peter. He is an evil person as proved that many times, but Valentine does not hesitate to reprimand his actions towards Ender. Ender is Valentine's motivation to face Peter in the beginning of the book. When Ender goes off to battle school, Peter and Valentine try to take over mankind using online personas. Both of them believe they are in control of each other, but Valentine's resistance to give up, despite the effect it may have had on Peter, showed her true courage. Although there are many good candidates for the most courageous person in Ender's game, Valentine Wiggins shows the most courage.